Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a little while since I've uploaded a video, so thank you so much for joining me. I'm very happy to be back. I missed filming like crazy. Today I'm going to do a drugstore full face using only products that are $8 and under from the drugstore. I wanted to do this video because, I don't know if you guys are aware, but Drugstore has a lot of great makeup products. They've really stepped up their game over, you know, the past five years on their makeup. And a lot of it is really, really good. So you don't have to spend a lot to have a good makeup day. I want to start off right away with the first product and then I'll get in talking about some stuff that I wanted to talk about. First, I'm going to start off with this Poreless Putty Primer. I've never tried most of these products before. So this will be a first impression as well. This is $8 and this is very hyped up. This is one of those products that everyone likes. So hopefully I'll like it. And put it like I do any primer. So I'm just gonna mainly focus it on my T-zone. So on my forehead. It feels super nice. So yeah, all these products that I'm gonna be using are either going to be e.l.f. or Wet n Wild. These are two brands that are sold at the drugstore and they are very affordable and good products overall. This is the foundation that I picked up. Flawless Satin Foundation. It says it's medium coverage, oil free. I got the shade Light Ivory. I will say it is more of a sheer coverage, but I'm sure we could just work our way up to at least a medium coverage. So this is my sponge that I'm going to go in with. It is a Real Techniques. It's the one that I always use. This one is brand new. It is limited edition. That's why it has all those cool colors. These run at about, I believe, $6.99 or $5.99. This is a limited edition one, but it feels a little different than the normal one. It feels like not as... Not that the Real Technique sponge is hard, but it feels more flimsy than normal, which is weird. Surprisingly, my face isn't too bad today. Which I have kind of been under a little bit of stress, so... It is surprising me that it doesn't look as bad as it normally would. Whenever I stress out my face, it gets pretty bad. So the shade, once again, is a little too light because I picked up Fair Warm instead of light warm. I really like this foundation. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. I think this is a really good foundation though if you just want like a light coverage and it's only six dollars. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. I got the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Fair warm which I think this is gonna be way too light. I mean it's pretty much white. But how have y'all been? Um, the start of this year has not been fun. It definitely got off to a rough, rough start. Six, five or six dollars. I was supposed to put a video up for New Year's. For New Year's Eve, I did a video and it was... I did a makeup look and it was purple and sparkly and it was so nice and then I filmed um, me doing jello shots while in between me doing the makeup look and doing the jello shots I was waiting for them to finish up in the fridge and whenever I did that I don't know why I decided to um oh my gosh my neighbors are playing music right now <laughs> and it was freaking loud. 
Okay, so anyways, in between that, I decided to delete some of the footage so that way I would have enough room. And like, I edited everything except for the last step that I needed on the for the Jello shots. And I don't know why I thought if I edited it, it was already saved on my computer, but it wasn't. So whenever I deleted it, it just deleted everything. Oh, and it would have been such a good video for New Year's Eve night. That was the night that I was going to post it. And oh, I told myself that night, I'm not going to let it ruin my New Year's Eve. I didn't want to start the year off on a bad note. So I let that one go in my head. I was fine with it. So freaking light. Ugh. So then after that, that's kind of how my year started. What happened? Then um, we had to shut down my work because one of our family members got corona. Well, that was a rough time because that was the first time that I had to um, take a test. Take a COVID test. I dodged taking a COVID test this whole time. But then I had to take one because I was around someone that had corona like two days before they found out. Which it wasn't that bad because to be honest I wasn't that worried. I don't know why I wasn't that worried but I just didn't want to stress myself out. I dealt with it pretty good. I mean of course you know it was kind of scary just knowing you know that you could possibly have it. I was going to use the concealer for on the eyelids as my eyeshadow primer, but I feel like it's only fair to use my NARS primer just because that's how I would normally use it and I don't want to use something else and then the eyeshadows not be good because of that. So we'll stick to the NARS. So next I got this Wet n Wild Photo Focus. The translucent powder is $5.99. So anyways, after that happened with the whole corona scare, oh, I came back negative by the way. It's going to be really hard to talk about, but I just want to talk about it real fast. I'm not going to say too, too much. Um, a few days after that, I lost one of my childhood friends. I thought I would have at least been able to talk about half of, to say half of what I wanted to say without getting sad, but I'm already sad. Um, I lost um, a childhood friend and it's, it's been really hard on all of us. She was such a good person and she was so nice and she was uh, two years younger. She was two years younger than me and we became very good friends whenever I was in, I believe, the ninth, whenever I was in the ninth grade and she was in the seventh grade and we, we were close throughout all of our high school years together. And yeah, we just, we were really close in high school. We had a lot of sleepovers. We went to a concert together. And yeah, it's just been really hard. I tell you, I don't think, um, I don't think this year could have started off any worse. All of that stuff happened um, just within the first week of January and that was basically how we ended off our first week of January. 
I've been upset ever since and just with the way I know me and my friends feel I couldn't imagine how I couldn't imagine how her close family feels or is feeling right now. I don't want to talk about the situation too much just out of respect for her family but if you guys could just pray for them I would really appreciate it. Okay I'm gonna get off that topic because I don't want this video to be a sad video. So this is the next product. It is an e.l.f. bronzer palette. I think I'm just going to stick to the two darker shades on the bottom. For some reason I don't have a picture of this. I tried to screenshot pictures so that way I could tell you the... So that way I could tell you the price, but I don't have one for this one. But yeah, this I believe this one was only $8. See how good all this stuff is going on? The drugstore ain't playing games when they decided to make all their products better. So yeah, after everything that has happened so far within the first week of January, I'm just like, I don't know how to feel about this upcoming year to be honest. Just gotta make the best of it, I guess. And I know this year I want to really focus on this YouTube channel and just do the best that I can. And I just want to try to be good at it, you know? So that went on really nice. I have a lot of ideas for this YouTube channel and I really want to focus on making good content for this channel. We're already at 278 subscribers, which is super exciting to me. Every day that I wake up, I have, that I have a new subscriber, I get so excited. Just one subscriber, like, makes the difference for me. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild blush. Um, it is in the color Pinch Me Pink. This is only $3.49. It does have a little bit of glitter in it, so I hope I like it. I don't really like glitters in my... Blushes. I don't know why, like whenever I went to pick it out, it didn't look like there was that much glitter in it. But then whenever I opened the packaging, and I actually looked at the product. I was like, oh no. So I mean, it does come on really nice. And it is pigmented. But for me, um, I don't like, like I've said before, I don't like to buy blushes that have glitter in them or highlighters that have like glitter, actual glitters, not shimmer, glitter. Um, because of the texture on my skin. But other than that, it does look really good. And you probably can't tell on camera, but there is glitter on my face now it's like it looks like gold glitter next I'm gonna use this metallic flare highlighter it is in the shade white gold it is six dollars I did want to ask you guys what you guys thought about me doing so I get BoxyCharm every month I don't want to talk too much about it just in case if I do end up doing this but it's basically just a subscription um that's how I have so much makeup to begin with is because of BoxyCharm they send five full-size products and it only costs $25 and so I was thinking every month I can do a video on reviewing those products for you and just showing you guys what I get in my box. So leave me a comment below if you guys would like that. I know I have a few subscribers that do get BoxyCharm every month so I think that would be a cool extra video like a bonus video to do. I think all these products look really good and look at the price of these products. It's like it's just crazy how far the drugstore has come. They've come a long way. I don't know if I've mentioned this already to you guys, but how do you guys like my background? I changed it up a little bit. Um, 
I'm almost done with it. There's a few other things I want to get, but I mainly want to put uh, fairy curtain lights. They're like the lights that hang down like a curtain, kind of, and put it behind the shelf. I think that would look really cool. And I don't see anything wrong, by the way, with the setting powder. It's working very nice. It doesn't make my skin look dry or anything. Well, that's something to look for because some uh, powders will come off as dry. To me, this is the most exciting part about this video is this eyeshadow palette. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon. So the color is Heart and Soul and the price is $5.99. These are the colors. The two top shades, the peach and the light pink, the matte shades, I'm going to put that in the crease. Oh, I can tell you they're very, they're definitely pigmented. For a 10 eyeshadows for $5.99, this is not bad. This is actually really nice. So now I'm going to use the maroon shade on the bottom corner for this outer part. See that pink glittery shade in the middle on the top? I'm going to use that one and then it's going to go and then I'm also going to use the one right under it. I don't think I've ever used Wet n Wild eyeshadows before so I'm definitely very impressed. So pretty. This would be a, a cute Valentine's Day look. Which I will have one of those coming by the way. So I'm going to use the shade that's right next to it and kind of use it to merge the eyeshadows together. Not two shafts. maroon a little bit for the outer part. So I'm going to go in with this mascara. It is brand new. It's called Big Papa. It's from Wet n Wild. This mascara $5.99. It's going on pretty nice. It's not clumpy at all. That's what it looks like. Very nice. I must say I'm very impressed by all these products. This is the Ultimate Brow Micro Pencil from Wet n Wild. I got it in the shade Brunette. It's kind of hard to do my eyebrows uh, using the studio light. It 
the color isn't too off. I thought it might be off because I went with brunette and not like a darker shade, but it actually probably is better that I picked this shade. And last but not least, I'm going to use this Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild. I already had this, so I could already tell you guys that this is one of the best liquid lipsticks at the drugstore. They are so freaking good, and my color is Rebel Rose. This is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time. Have you guys seen um, the show Euphoria? It's a pretty deep show. It's It kind of reminds me of 13 Reasons Why. But like on steroids because it is on HBO Max. And it's definitely like a rated R to the max. But the reason I brought it up is because the makeup looks on that show are bomb.com. They have, I don't know who they got for like the makeup artist on that show, but a lot of nice and creative looks. It's crazy. I've never seen a show that has you know, makeup looks like that, that are, it's just so cool. Look at how good that liquid lipstick went on. And the liquid lipstick is $5.99. This is the look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you don't have to shop high-end for your makeup to look good. You just gotta make sure that you're applying it right. As far as all the products go, I think the only disappointments was this highlighter, um, it's not as pigmented as I usually like my highlighters to be. This blush, um, there's a little too much glitters in it for me, but that's kind of my fault. I should have made sure that there wasn't any glitters in here. Everything else though, I mean, the powder is bomb for $5, like, this was good, came on very pigmented. This came out really good. I couldn't even tell the difference between these eyeshadows and more expensive eyeshadows. The mascara is good so far. Um, I'm going to have to see how it ends up wearing. That's something that you can't really tell until it starts smudging or it doesn't. For this primer, definitely a hit. You guys should go try this because it's very good. They have it in poreless. Luminizer and Matte. There's three different kinds. I was very impressed by this foundation. I did not think that I was gonna like it that much, but my complexion looks really good. This was very good. I messed up on the shade. I know that they have um, a hydrating one, but this one did not come on dry, so I don't know, you know, maybe if you have like extremely dry and dry eyes, you could go for the hydrating one. And then this, I already told you guys how much I like this. These are bomb. I need to go get more colors for sure. I think that is it. Thank you all for watching. I'm so glad that I did this video today. It's been way too long. Thank you everyone for all your support. I truly appreciate it. I can't wait to see what this year brings. Hopefully it will get better than how it started. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.